Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your main man Steven back again to bring AFCON predictions match these three guys. So we are back. This week we are doing it differently. We are doing the predictions here on screen. So indeed, yeah. So first off, it's Equatorial Guinea versus Ivory Coast. Equatorial Guinea, you saw, got a 1-1 draw against uh, Nigeria and beating f the Guinea Basu 4-2 last match day. I do expect Equatorial Guinea to challenge Cote d'Ivoire, the elephants of Ivory Coast, but I think they will fall short. I think it will be a 2-1 win for Ivory Coast in this one. Next up, Guinea-Bissau versus Nigeria. Nigeria, you guys are very lucky. Um, uh, Ivory Coast did not have the shooting boots in their last one. They had uh, quite a few chances. Riff Sebastian Heller in that squad. Zaha and maybe a wet Maxwell Corner who scored for uh, West Ham on the weekend. They should be firing on all cylinders in Ivory Coast. But they are missing those type of players, especially uh, it's not the Didier Drogba era of Wil Wilfred Barney as well and Gervinio. But in general, Ivory Coast did, did the job done and Nigeria should get the job done here. I go for a 2-0 Nigeria win. Victor Oshman masterclass in this one. But well, look out for Chinquizi and Lookman. These guys have been brilliant. These guys have been brilliant. And that means Nigeria will top the group and Ivory Coast will get second on three points. If this was to go through, so we move. To group B. Um, Mozambique versus Ghana in group B. Mozambique versus Ghana, guys. Mozambique, Ghana. Mozambique had good game against Egypt. Uh, and Mozambique got smashed, absolutely smashed, uh, by the Blue Sharks of uh, Cape Verde. And indeed, it's not looking good. Ghana looking good. So I go. For a 2 0 Ghana, Mohamed Kudus masterclass yet again. Cape Verde versus Egypt. This will be a cagey game. This will be a cagey game. It will be hard for Egypt. Um, even without Mohamed Salah, Mustafa Mohamed, and Omar Marmouche was supreme last game. But they'll have to um, be under A gear again because Salah will miss the next two. Uh, games with Egypt and he has gone back to Liverpool to recover um, to recover and see if he will play in the after the round of 16 match so that's sad news for Egypt fans but in general I think Egypt will edge out Cape Verde 2 goes to 1 and maybe progress let's calculate this one Egypt will be second on five points and according to calculation and Ghana may be one of the best third place teams with three point four points as well in this one. So yeah. We move to group C. Uh, Guinea versus Senegal. This will be a tough class. Girassi is back. Naby Keita is benched. So we will see how these two injury, injured players will be back. Um, but, um, in general, I think Senegal will eat edge out, uh, Guinea. Two goals to one, in my opinion. 
uh, Guinea well troubled him, Girassi. We know what he does in the Bundesliga with um, Stuttgart. And yeah, so indeed, yeah. 2 1 to Senegal. Mane and Ismail are our masterclass. But look out for Pat Gay. Look out for Hamad Diallo up front. Ja Nicholas Jackson off the bench. Dia. Uh, a few other players. Quality. So much quality on this. Pat Matasar is a quality player from uh, Senegal as well. And you have NDA from Marseille. So indeed this is the stacked up Senegal Lee squad. Who does not look like losing anytime soon as well. So we move on. In Gambia, the Scorpions of Gambia versus the Indomitable Lions of Cameroon. I think Cameroon will win, especially with um, a suitable performance last game, but a narrow win, 2-1 to Cameroon, because I still haven't seen much of Musa Barrow from Gambia, they probably they're one of the best players of Gambia. But um yeah, Gambia 3 no loss to Senegal, 1 no loss to Guinea. I think they will lose again. And let's calculate this group table as it looks. Senegal top nine points unbeaten, four points for Guinea. And Cameroon, four points on goal difference. So, indeed, Cameroon might not go through as uh, the third place team will be determined. But I think they will still. What a group this is. But yeah, Group D. We go to Algeria group. Algeria very unpromising against Burkina Faso last match day. Mara is not doing enough and Slamani missing and you don't even have Saeed Banrama. And the guy, I don't know, this Algeria team is inconsistent. But I think they will win. But before the Algeria game, I'll talk about Angola. Angola versus Burkina Faso, I think Angola did well. Against Mauritania. But this is Burkina Faso. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's the end of the road for them. 2-1 to Burkina Faso is my pick. Mauritania. Uh, Algeria. As much as I don't want Algeria to win. But I think it's a 2-0 win for Algeria. So yeah, let's calculate this. Algeria to go through as runner-up, 5 points, and Burkina Faso top the group, 7 points. Angola for uh, Mauritania, 0 points. So yeah. Group E. South Africa, Tunisia. Oh man, Tunisia do not look good. And I think... Um, they will lose here. I think Tunisia will lose 1-0 to South Africa. Sorry, Tunisia fans. You don't have Kadri. It's not the same Tunisia like the ones who... At the last AFCON, they had a surprise package, I think. It's not the same Tunisia. Mali 1-1 one, one draw, yeah. You scored, but... A losing against Namibia, I think South Africa, especially with that 4-0 against Namibia, will have the better advantage going into this one and beat Tunisia. Prove me wrong, Tunisia, but yeah. Namibia versus Mali, I think it's a 2-0 to Mali. Mali look way too good right now. Mali beat South Africa. Mali, I think it's another 2-0 for Mali. So, yeah, that's my prediction. And... Seven points. Six points. And of course, the last that I keep forgetting these um, these games. But yeah. Tanzania versus DR Congo. 
Tanzania, dear Congo. Big up to Tanzania for getting a point off. Zambia should have got all three points and get the first ever win in the AFCON. Unlucky for Tanzania in my opinion. DR Congo, oh man, big draw against Morocco. Finally, Morocco dropped points. They look like the better team, but um, and the Leopards of DR Congo just keep fighting. So I think it's a 2-1 win for DR Congo in this one. Zambia versus uh, Morocco. Well, it's the Zambia be problem for Morocco? Maybe. Pat Sandaka, who scored in the last game, and then, yeah, but, um, yeah, so I think, uh, 2-1 to Morocco, you have to, uh, show class, had Hakim, GH, and Inajiri, master class in this one. So Morocco tops the group 7 points and DR Congo follows them 5 points and Zambia knocked out. And Tanzania. So yeah, Zambia knocked out. Probably not one of the best shared place nations. So yeah. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Share the video. Notification bell on. On the road to 100. Peace out. Steve Squad signing out. Peace.